better watch out. You better not cry. You better not pout. I'm telling you why. Santa Claus is coming to town. Oh, he's making a list and he's checking it twice. He's gonna find out who's naughty or nice. Santa Claus is coming to town. sees you when you're sleeping He knows when you're awake He knows if you've been bad or good So be good for goodness sake Oh, you better watch out You better not cry You better not pout I'm telling you why Santa Claus, he is coming to town everyone to this second lucky dip that we have we already had a winner last week and today we are going to have the second lucky dip my name is gordon i'm the host for this afternoon and our agenda is today we will have a small talk by dr nida and post that i will explain the offers to you and just to give you a heads up we have this lucky dip on many dates so i can just share the dates with you today the 27th we have the second lucky dip after that we have one on the 3rd on the 10th and on the 31st on the 31st of uh, january we've got a mega lucky dip where there is one winner who can get a free trip to dubai along with his or her partner okay paid by homepath softwares so that is an amazing opportunity that dr shah has presented uh, to each and everybody here are the dates 27th 3rd 10th 17th 24th we'll have one winner each and on the 31st mega lucky dip a trip to dubai now what do you do how to participate bahut simple hai we've got 40% off going on on all our products aapko kewal zomio software jo hai wo kharidna hai ओके okay, या फिर आप जोमियो अल्टीमेट खरीद सकते हो कोई भी एक आप अपग्रेड भी करा सकते फोर्टी परसेंट ऑफ चालू है जिसमें आप ये कॉन्टेस्ट ऑटोमेटिकली आप एंटर करते हो जहां पे लकी डिप में अगर आपका नाम आ जाता है तो आप वही सॉफ्टवेयर या अपग्रेड जो भी है वो आपको फ्री दिया जाएगा एंड ऑन दर्टी फर्स्ट इफ यू गेट वाओ यू गेट अ फ्री ट्रिप टू टू डुबाई राइट एंड दिस इज द वंडरफुल ऑफर दैट वी हैव फॉर दिस सीजन Now, my dear friends, I would like to hand it uh, over to Dr. Nida, who will have a small twenty-minute presentation. So you can grab onto your books to make some notes, and we will have this session started. Thank you. Hello, everyone. Good afternoon. Welcome to Zoom Your Classroom. I am Dr. Nida Kazi. So today we are going to learn how a case of bronchial asthma got cured with homeopathy. So let's begin with the case. So let's take a case of 34-year-old patient who is a general physician by profession. 
He came to us with the chief complaints of frequent episodes of breathlessness, and during the attack, chest pain that has been only localized at one spot. The modalities were really peculiar. He mentioned that whenever he would take beer, the complaints uh, started and of course gets worsened. And but uh, he is better by expectorations, and he's been on inhalers for so many years that would provide a very temporary relief for a short period of time. Uh, also, while taking the case, we came to know that the patient was chilly by thermals and the general's appetite was reduced quite a lot because of the complaints and the thirst was increased because every time after the attack, he got so exhausted that he would feel the urge to drink more water. Now, let's uh, look at the totality of the symptoms, the complaints that we are going to consider while solving a case. So we are going to find out these rubrics in the repertories to solve this case. First itself is the diagnosis, bronchial asthma. Second, we are going to take the modality, the aggravating modality into consideration that is beer aggravation. Then, of course, a very characteristic symptom, pain in a single spot in the chest. And again, the modality, this time is the amelioration, which is the better by expectoration. So based on this totality of symptoms, now we are going to use the Zomio software to find the similimum of the case. So now this is the Zomio software. Here we are going to search the rubrics in the repertories and we'll create a repertory sheet and we'll look for the remedies in the end. Now all you can see friends a search bar is given on the first page itself as a shortcut icon so we can definitely use this search bar to look for the rubrics in the repertories so we just need to enter your very important keywords keyword could be anything it could be a location or a sensation or a modality or a concomitant as well no need to write the whole symptom over here just pick up important keywords and enter and look for the rubrics in the repertories so here I will be just typing the complaints. First, I will type bronchial asthma, which is the diagnosis itself. Let's see how many repertories have got bronchial asthma rubric in it and what all those rubrics are and how many remedies they are carrying in it. So as I clicked on search bar, I got to see a result page where on the left hand side, I can see the whole list of repertories where bronchial asthma rubric uh, is present. The numbers in the brackets in front of each repertory name are the number of rubrics in each repertory. And the first page is open by default is for the total one. So I could see all the rubrics are from all the repertories are given together on the first page itself. And the first rubric has always got the maximum number of remedies to it. That is the reason it is given on top. On the right side extreme, if you see, you get to see the, first of all, you get to see the remedy count of that particular rubric. And in the extreme right, you can see the whole remedy names of that particular rubric. That has been arranged as per their marks. Three marks remedies on top, followed by two marks, and in the end, one mark remedies. So whichever rubric you find is related to your case, you are going to double tap on the rubric to record it to the repertory sheet. The selection of the rubric has to be done by the physician who is using the software. Now, in the same way, we will search all the rubrics in the repertories and we will record them one by one to the repertory sheet. So let's search keywords in the search bar. The next symptom would be, or the keyword would be respiration difficult because this is the main complaint of this uh, condition difficult respiration let's see the rubrics in the repertories now here i can see again the same way the repertory list their rubrics their remedies let me record this first rubric from complete repertory under respiration chapter the main rubric is difficult with 896 remedies just double tap on it and the rubric gets reported to the sheet. Now let's search the other rubrics as well. We will take now the modality beard aggravation. Let's see. Let's click on search and get the result. Yeah, 
here i've got uh, these many rubrics for beer aggravation uh, in these repertories the first rubric which is in the complete repertory under generalities chapter and the rubric is food and drinks beer aggravation with 109 remedies now let me record this rubric to the repertory sheet by double clicking on it now we will take uh, another modality which is the expectoration amelioration so let's type in the search bar expectoration and just the first four letters of the amelioration let's see the rubric in the repertories yes now this is we are going to take again the first rubric from complete repertory under generalities chapter and the rubric is expectoration amelioration with 107 remedies again double tap on it to record it to the repertory sheet now we'll search the last rubric which is uh, the very important one again is chest pain spots because the patient was complaining of a chest pain at a very one a peculiar one spot only so we'll look for this rubric with these words chest pain spots let's see the rubric in the repertories now here i'm going to consider this again rubric from complete repertory under chest chapter uh, the rubric is pain spots and with the remedy count 54 so double click on it to record it to the repertory sheet now we are done with the rubric recordings let's go to repertory sheet and look for the remedies over there and other features of the software on the left hand side this top icon is the repertory sheet icon so once you are recording the rubrics to the repertory sheet you can click on this icon and Come to the repertory sheet to look for your remedies. Now, this is the repertory sheet uh, that is being created by the rubrics recorded by us. So, these are the total number of remedies at present in the list. Uh, the number of symptoms recorded by us five um, uh, coming up here. Now, as uh, friends, you can see the numbers over here: one, two, three, four. These are nothing but the grades or marks of each remedy in each rubric. So I could see Brynia stands a two mark remedy in the first and then four and three mark remedies in the other rubrics given here. When you add these rubrics, so the total number or the final number is given in the totality, which is given below the remedy name. So whichever remedy has got the highest totality will appear on top in the list. The number of symptoms recorded by us will appear left side top and the number of symptoms covered by each remedy will appear below the totality. If more than one remedy have got the same totality and same symptom coverage, then they will appear in an alphabetical order in the list. Just because B letter comes before K and K comes before S, that is the reason Brynia is given before Kalibai and Kalibai given before Sulphur. Otherwise, all the three are equal in totality and the symptom coverage. Now, this is the kingdom part, the main family they belong to, given in a symbolic form. This is the plant kingdom symbol, this is the mineral kingdom symbol, and this is the animal kingdom symbol. Now, I can see the remedy count here is 914. Now, I'm going to apply uh, some filter options over here to drill down the remedy list according to the case requirement. So, on top in the menu bar, as you all could see, strategies and filter option gets opened. Now, here the whole filter list in front of me but I'm going to apply uh, uh, the filter which is present in the advanced strategies option over here. A click and you get you need to go for this cross repertorization filter option. A single click on this uh, filter and you get to see the whole uh, rubric list of yours with the check boxes before each one. Now you're going to uh, tick the boxes of those rubrics that are really important to you according to your case or that you want your remedy to cover those symptoms in the patient. If you think all your rubrics are equally important, then you can select all of them in the list over here. And now only those remedies are going to come up that are having all the symptom coverage because I have selected all the rubrics over here. Any remedy who's not covering any single symptom in the list of remedies, they are going to filter out. Let's see how many remedies are coming up who are having all the symptoms 
in the list of remedies of 940. Let's click on OK and see the result. So now, friends, you all can see only we are left with six remedies from the list of huge 914. Uh, be why? Because this, these are the only remedies that are having all the symptom coverage of my patient. Now, in the list of six remedies, if you see Brynia, Kali, Bai, and Sulfur, these are the remedies who are having equal totality and equal symptom coverage. So now if you're confused between any two or three remedies, so which one to finalize, so you can use one more feature of the Zomio software to compare the remedies. So to use that feature, you need to click on the remedy to select it. Now, as you give a click on the remedy, a remedy tool option gets open in the menu bar on top with the selected remedy name in the bracket. And from the right hand side, the second option is the remedy compare option where I could see out of three add view and clear only add option is available. That means I need to add the remedies first to the comparison table in order to view them. So let's give a click on add to add the remedy. A single click will add my remedy and I get this notification as selected remedy successfully added. Click on OK. And now repeat the same procedure for the next two remedies that you want to add. Click on Kalibai. On top, once you get to see Kalibai's name in the bracket next to remedy tool option, go on right side and click on add. Add this remedy to get a notification. Click on OK. Let's add sulfur also. Same way, click it. Go right side. Click on add. You get a notification. Click on OK. Now let's click on view to see the comparison table of all the three remedies. Here is the comparison table. You are currently comparing their keynotes. If at all you want to switch the page, give a click on this drop down to see the other comparison options. You can switch to the remedy properties comparison. You can switch to the remedy relation comparison. Or if at all you want to compare them from different, different authentic Materia Medica books, then Go for the Materia Medica option. As you select this option, you can see friends below each remedy name, a remedy list gets opened. By default, the first book has been selected. You, if you, at all you want to select a book of your choice, give a click on the drop down to select the book from the list of books available here. Let me select this book called Dr. N.M. Chaudhary, A Study on Materia Medica. Now, let me select the same book for this different remedy now let's select the sulfur from the same book so now you can see i have opened the same book for three different remedies and i'm comparing them at the same time so this feature is really convenient to compare two or three different remedies from the same book at the same time now once we are done with the comparison we close this page and come back to the original repertory sheet. Uh, still, I am not okay with the six list of remedies. So what I can do now, I can use one more filter, which is definitely helping me with the remedy selection, not on a random basis, but according to the case requirement. Now I'm going to again, uh, go on top in the menu bar and we'll select the last option in the list called strategies and filters. A single click will open the whole filter list for me here. I'm going to click on this remedy filter option and will apply this remedy property filter. This remedy property filter feature is going to provide me the whole criteria for a remedy selection according to my case. Now here, I'm not going to select the whole list of options given over here, but I'm only going to select the generals and the thermal of the patient. Since uh, while taking the case, definitely I come to know the stage of the disease. So this was the chronic case. So I'll go for the chronic set of remedies in the case. And let's select the thermal. The patient's thermal was chilly. Thirst, the patient, while giving me the generals, the patients mentioned that the thirst was increased quite a lot, even especially after the attack. Appetite has been reduced drastically. 
So let's take these genders and the thermal into consideration. And now let's filter out the remedies finally. So now let's see what all remedies are there in the list of six remedies who are fulfilling these criteria of my patient. Let's click on OK and get the remedy list. Now, doctors, all you can see, we are left with only one remedy that is Kali Bai. No other remedy is present with this remedy. That means this is the only remedy who were fulfilling the whole criteria of the remedy requirement that I filled up in the remedy property filter. Now, to confirm the remedy, one more time, we are going to read the remedy details from different books. Now, I don't need to go anywhere else to select a book option. I just need to go on top. Here in the menu bar, you could see remedy tool option is open. And next to the remedy name, I could see Kali by uh, name is written. Now I just need to select this material medica option to see the whole list of books that are available in the software where Kali by is given in detail. Let me select a book of Dr. Borik. Here the book is present, uh, his book called Thousand Remedies uh, is here. So we are now going to read Kali Bai from this book. I just need to give a click and that particular remedy gets opened from that particular book selected by me. I can see another page gets opened with the heading on top as read Materia Medica. We were there on this. This was our working page. Now another page gets opened. So whatever pages you have clicked on and you're working on, they will remain in the background. Doctors, unless you close it with this cross button, they will not be closed. Okay, so now the Kali Bai has been opened from this book uh, by Dr. Borik, Thousand Remedies. Here, let me check the symptoms covered by this remedy. So while applying the cross filter, we consider two very important symptoms. One is the pain in spots. So let's see whether this remedy covered that symptom or not. Yes, now you can see doctors here, pain occurs in a small circumscribed place that can be covered by the tip of the thumb. This was the very important symptom that we took into consideration and this remedy is definitely covering that symptom over here. And now this remedy is also covering another very important symptom which is the beer aggravation. So here it is written the patient craves beer but that definitely the beer makes him sick. And in the case also the beer was the aggravating modality so definitely the patient mentioned while taking the beer, the complaint gets aggravated. So we'll take also this into consideration. And also the rest of the details, you can definitely go to the exact chapter of this remedy and you could read it out from there. So doctors, yes, you can see that this was the remedy uh, that we confirmed it from the source book itself. So this was the remedy that we finalized for this case. As this is the minimum of the case, uh, we start with a 38th potency and gradually we increased up to 200 and 1M potencies and finally the case got cured successfully with this only remedy Kali Bai. So along with the medicine Kali Bai, we also suggested some diet and routine modifications to our patient that really helped him keeping the condition under control and till date he is still following those diet and routine changes and leading a healthy life. So now let me take you to those two features that are available in the Zomio software under this utility module. You need to just give a click and under this utility module, you can see the first two options are those only. First is patient instructions and the second is diet and nutrition. In both the options, if you click, let me click on patient instruction first, you get to see a clinical condition list on the left hand side in an alphabetical order. We'll look for the uh, patient's clinical condition here. Now there's a search bar given at the bottom left side. You need to just enter the clinical condition name over here. So I'll write ASTHM and I can see asthma condition got selected from the list of uh, clinical conditions mentioned here. A little briefing about the condition has been given here for patients' better understanding what exactly the condition is, what are the causes of asthma, what are the signs and symptoms of asthma, followed by the huge list of do's and don'ts that you can definitely take a printout of it from here and give it to your patient to take home and follow instructions. Now let's look for the diet 
changes for this particular condition. So you need to click on this diet and nutrition option over here. Again, the whole list of uh, clinical condition gets open on the left hand side in an alphabetical order. Either you scroll down the condition list or you type the condition in the search bar given at the bottom left side. Now I could see asthma given on top in the list over here. I select the condition from the left hand side. I can see the condition gets open with a little briefing about the condition over here again, followed by the aggravating factors that definitely can be avoided in the environment and in the food to keep the condition under control. Along with you get to see the whole dietary management over here. These are the things that can be definitely included in the diet to lead a healthy life. So the whole thing you can either give it to your patient in the form of a printout or rather if not a printer you can still take a screenshot of it and send it to your patient via WhatsApp or via mail. So friends what did we learn today in this case? With the help of the Zomio software we were able to solve the case and came to a similimum in a very short period of time and with so much ease. Also Kalibai was the only remedy that covered all the symptoms of the patient and also we confirmed it from the book that was present in the software. Thank you friends for joining us today. We hope to see you soon in another session of Zomio Classroom. Have a great day. All right, so my dear friends, uh, we'll have the lucky dip now. This is the second lucky dip. And let us see who the winner is this time. So we've got a lot of names. Keep your fingers crossed. So we'll have a countdown. Five, four, three, two, and one. Here we go. Dr. Juhi Safna, congratulations to you. You've just been the, announced as a winner of the second lucky dip. Congratulations. It's wow, wonderful way to end the year, Dr. Juhi. And uh, friends, you can see this. You can also be a winner. Please invite your friends, everybody to come and participate in this lucky dip. Not to forget, on the 31st of January, the last lucky dip, there's a mega bumper prize. And that is a trip to Dubai with one person of your choice that you can take paid by Mind Technologies Private Limited. So the next lucky dip is we're going to start the new year with a bang. And that is on the 3rd of January. So this date will be your next lucky dip. Hoga. You can have a look at the dates. That's the 3rd, 10th, 17th, 24th. Very, very simple. You just have to either buy Zomio or buy the Zomio Ultimate or upgrade it from Zomio to Zomio Ultimate. Or you automatically jo hai wo ye contest mein enter kar sakte ho. And it's, it's wonderful to see so many winners and getting a chance to go to Dubai as well. 40% off on our products. I mean, that's, that's simply amazing. I hope uh, you all enjoyed this particular session. And as Christmas is a season of love, peace, care, joy, happiness and gifting, this is Dr. Jawahar Shah's way of gifting all of you such wonderful, wonderful prizes. Okay, there is lots more. Please invite a lot of your other friends as well. All right. Thank you, friends. Thank you for joining once again. And have a wonderful, wonderful day ahead. And a happy new year from HomePath Softwares to everybody in advance. Thank you. Thank you.